when is the time to hire a sex therapist? So if you've watched my other videos, you might be like, okay, Heather, like I'm on board. We kind of need sex therapy. We haven't really gotten the education that we needed. There's some forces at work that are like not really supporting us in the direction we want to go with sexuality. Also, we literally all exist because of sex. So it's pretty fundamental in terms of like things we should be comfortable with, right? So when is it time to hire a sex therapist personally? Uh, and I would say this is a good time if you are feeling some kind of shame, some kind of confusion related to either gender identity or sexuality, whether it's orientation, how you express your sexuality, fantasies and things you're interested in. And you're kind of like, is this healthy for me? Like, I don't know, but I want to feel right within myself. I want to feel like I am in alignment and integrity. Um, you might also kind of be like, cool, I'm already like feeling like, comfortable enough that I do want to explore, but I don't want to go about it in a way that's going to leave me feeling unsafe. And I want to make sure I have good boundaries and I'm exploring some stuff that maybe I don't know a ton about. I'm here for that, right? That's a good time to reach out for some support too, especially if you're looking into, you know, BDSM or if you're looking into, you know, opening your marriage or something and you're kind of like, we don't know what we don't know, right? Um, if you're having a struggle with your partner when it comes to sex and you're like, you know, we've tried lingerie, we've tried date nights, um, something is just kind of not improving on its own. We're feeling kind of stuck. Again, you don't know what you don't know. And I will say before becoming a sex therapist, I also kind of thought like either, either the chemistry is there or it's not. And if it fades, it just fades. And you can like maybe try a couple of things, but there's not that much you can do. And now I have a pretty different perspective that I actually think there's a lot you can do, especially if you're willing. If both people are like, okay, I'm willing to look at my side. You're willing to look at your side. Let's figure this out. Another one would be if your libido has just kind of taken a nosedive, if you're, if you're like, I used to have a pretty healthy sex drive and it's just kind of in the gutter right now and I don't really know why and I don't really know if there's anything I can do about it. So this is another one that's pretty holistic, pretty complex. My background, I am a holistic health coach. I'm a biohacker in my spare time. Um, so I do really look at this from a very holistic lens. And some of the things you can do something about, some of the things might be like a medication you're on that you don't wanna stop taking, but there's a lot of factors that can um, cause a lower libido and it can be a little tough to figure out on your own. So that's a good time to reach out. Uh, if you're using sex for validation, and this is a real common one, I think I surveyed my Instagram following and it was like 80% of people were like, yep, that's me. <laughs> so if you're using sex for validation in, in a way or to a level that is not feeling right, is not feeling good, you know, reach out. Sometimes there can be attachment issues that we work on um, or other obstacles we find that we can resolve for you. Another one would be if you're lacking confidence when you uh, are approaching sex. And this can overlap a bit with the lower libido because if we're not feeling really like our best selves going into it, we might just kind of avoid it altogether, right? So building the confidence. How do you build the confidence? How do you build the skill? Whether it's, you know, actual sexual skills or more body image or even just comfort talking about sex. Um, also, if you haven't had sex or a relationship before and you're kind of like, you know, I'm feeling like life is passing me by and I'm not really like engaging in this part of my life and I want to figure out why. I want to figure out how to work through that. So any of those reasons, and really any other reasons you can think of why you might want support in the area of sexuality, you know where to find me. You can reply to this email or message me on social media, and you can also book a mini session directly from my website. It's the first button right at the top of the homepage. So I look forward to talking to you.